snacking is one of the thing uh, that we always uh, uh, feel to have some snacks okay so today i would uh, like to share about some facts about snacking and how it is actually impacting our health so see uh, first of all like i would like to talk about why do we snack okay so there is something called as an uh, hunger and something called as a cravings so what happens when we are getting hungry so hungry means i i need some energy i need some uh, my uh, appetite to be fulfilled and I, I i will be looking for some foods right so if i feel hungry basically with food i can manage my hunger and it need not to be any specific food maybe uh, whatever i will eat it is a normal indian meal also i will be feeling full but there is something called as a cravings so what does cravings means so probably the craving is something that i will be looking for any specific food i think many of us can relate it right like somebody have a craving towards a biryani somebody could be having cravings towards a uh, pizza or a burger right or somebody could be interested in the very spicy food okay so cravings is a different thing than hunger right so cravings basically uh, happens when our internal health is not well body is running out of nutritional deficiencies and it will actually trigger some specific food uh, eagerness to have some specific food right and sometimes we feel like if i snack in between our meals probably i can i can manage over eating but it actually happens in the opposite way if we if we do snacking in between our meals sometimes it increases our appetite and obviously we will be encouraging over eating which is not again recommended for the body right so that is the very basic thing and uh, i would like to say uh, other reasons of snacking okay so sometimes the people uh, in india no many people are there who are not actually aware how we, how is their health condition probably the people who are in the higher weight side sometimes they will do a blood test and all but sometimes people are having a normal bmi range they do not know they might be actually going through the diabetic health or something so sometimes blood sugar level can goes high and something called as a stress eating whenever office work or any kind of stress we go through right we start eating something okay and that is what sometimes we feel also depressed if i have some food and i feel okay now i am full fulfilled i get some instant energy from food right anxiety could be another reason sometimes we are we are just having food without any specific reason we are just getting bored any food is in front of us and we will have it habitual snacking sometimes it's okay after meal i have to have some uh, snack or maybe in the afternoon i i need some snacking we make some habits and we we keep going or do we doing it right and sometimes when we will get an opportunity to get together definitely we will arrange lot of snacks and ending with an unhealthy eating itself so these are the some very relatable uh, symptoms for the snacking that we all face this is a trap actually so what happens when we actually eat anything okay so basically there are some hormones in our body we call it a classified as an fat making hormone and fat burning hormones so insulin is one of the major hormone which is a fat burning hormone now what happens whenever we eat something we basically triggers the insulin okay so if i if i let's say in a day i am eating for the three times and in between also i am eating maybe two or three times of snacking basically i am encouraging uh, insulin to uh, spike and if insulin spikes happen basically i am encouraging to a fat burning hormone to be enabled obviously i will be ending up with to gain some more weight right and what happens like for a prolonged durations of time if i keep doing it our body creates an unbalance between insulin and the glucose level so there is a diagram where i try to show uh see insulin is a hormone secreted by your pancreas okay and uh, what happens when we eat something i am expecting the energy to be supposed to be come from the glucose right but what happen insulin helps this glucose to uh reach in our receptors or the blood cells okay but if i keep on increasing this in glucose level obviously insulin will not be able to send this food or energy to the uh all the cells and what happens again our body will be demanding more insulin and pancreas will start secreting more insulin so body will be high on insulin at that time and if we keep doing it for 10 to 12 15 years body will 
face a situation called as insulin resistance. If insulin resistance is also uh, continuing for some more years, probably we'll be ending up with type 2 diabetes and many other things. Okay. So that's the sign actually. Now, as I mentioned, one of the sign is, uh, let's say type 2 diabetes for the insulin resistance, but it can cause a lot of things. So gluconeogenesis is something basically uh, when I am eating non-carbohydrate food, but still it will be converted to fat. So food is supposed to convert it to energy, but food will be converted to here fat. That encourages also our co cognitive function, uh, depression, anxiety, all those things, all the hormonal balance will be disturbed when insulin resistance will be running through in our body. Okay, there are a lot of things uh, we, I could be lead with the high blood pressure or the PCOS in the female health, a very prominent thing. And another important factor is the fatty liver. So there is something called as a non-alcoholic fatty liver and the alcoholic fatty liver. Frequent eating habit can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver also. It impacts our vision and kidney health as well, right? So this can, can be actually triggered by this frequent eating habit, or I would say, frequently a uh, snacking habit or the unhealthy eating. So what we can do uh, before coming to that, I would just like to talk about two hormones. Uh, one is the ghrelin and another is leptin. These hormones are very much uh, involved in our hunger and also the to feel us fulfilled. So ghrelin is a hormone which actually our stomach produces and releases. When basically stomach is empty, it gives a signal to our brain that it's time to eat something. Okay, so if we are hungry, basically ghrelin will be secreted, but we need to see if I can manage with a good food, I can control my hunger. If it is not happening, basically I'm craving towards a, a different or specific food. Now, what does leptin do? Leptin is a hormone actually our adip adipose tissue releases. So it helps to maintain our body weight for long term basis. And also whenever our hunger is done, basically I am fulfilled with the food that I am supposed to have, leptin will give a signal that you are full right now and basically you do not need to eat more, right? So these hormone balance, if body is not actually able to maintain, then again, this insulin resistance will cause and basically you will be ending up with a lot of other health issues. So what are the healthy habits or what we can do? First is like, if you are actually facing this kind of situations or your health is not in a correct uh, shape or you are facing other uh, situations in your health first thing is you need to address your root cause why you are gaining weight or what is the what is the reason of your that uh, health situations right so we need to correct our lifestyle with the right guidance so check with the person who has invited you if you are really need, need a guidance and to improve your health they will navigate you and help you uh, to address the root cause okay and uh, Another thing like you can actually take snacking or I would say you just have the snack along with your meal and make your meal a bigger one, okay? And limit your carbohydrate intake. Obviously, sugar and sweets are not helping us. So we can eliminate completely sugar and sweets, okay? Increasing the fat in the diet, okay? Sometimes we talk about fat. Fat is not very good and all. But believe me, fat was there in the crime scene where uh, crime was done by the sugar and the refined carbohydrate. Okay. Along with that, sometimes we are actually running out with the nutritional deficiencies in the body. And as these are the micronutrients, our body will not be, or we will not be able to understand sometimes until and unless we end up with any health situations, right? So make sure that you are having nutritious food and your, these vitamins labels are on the correct level, right? In your body. And obviously the food and uh, uh, fruits and vegetables, right? Which are rich in fiber add it on a regular basis and salad is one of the thing that will help you to keep your appetite full also include that in your meal and definitely moderate workout will help you okay so maybe three to four four or five days in a week 15 20 minutes if we can do workout along with eating right definitely you can actually uh, stop this unhealthy snacking habit and also it will not lead to the insulin resistance thing thank you that's all we had today Thank you for joining and I hope uh, we could add some value today. See you in next week.